Fifth Pasture Syndrome is an autoimmune disorder involving the lungs and kidneys. A type 2 cytotoxic hypersensitivity reaction takes place, which affects the glomerular and alveolar basement membranes. Certain epitopes, which are the parts of antigen molecules to which antibodies attach themselves, are found in type 4 collagen. These epitopes become exposed, which leads to T cells initiating an autoantibody response. When the antibodies combine with those epitopes, the complement system and neutrophils become activated, which then leads to formation of IgG deposits along the glomerular and alveolar basement membranes. This process may ultimately cause hemorrhage in the lungs and glomerulonephritis. The exact cause of good pasture syndrome is unknown, but it is thought that cigarette smoking, certain infections, or exposure to certain environmental chemicals may lead to the exposure of those particular collagen type 4 epitopes. That being said, current or former smokers are at higher risk of developing the disease, especially men in their 20s, and may also occur in both genders in the 60s to 70s age group. Initial signs and symptoms of good pasture syndrome typically vary depending on the age group. The disease usually has an explosive onset in young men, which is characterized by hemoptysis, which is coughing up blood, fever, dyspnea, hematuria, blood in the urine, and decreased hemoglobin level. Those who present with lung hemorrhage typically have a better outcome when compared to those who have experienced prolonged asymptomatic renal injury such as in the elderly population. Oliguria, which is the condition in which the kidneys make very little urine, is a very poor prognosis factor. Lung hemorrhage usually precedes renal abnormalities from anywhere from weeks to months. Other signs of pulmonary involvement include cough, crackles, bronchi, and pulmonary insufficiency. Other renal symptoms and complications include weakness, pallor, anemia, proteinuria, hypertension, increased creatinine levels, and renal failure. Quick diagnosis is important for suspected cases of good pasture syndrome. Thus, urgent kidney biopsies are performed to confirm diagnosis and assess prognosis. Renal biopsies usually show focal or segmental necrosis. Fiber optic bronchoscopy with multiple lung biopsies may also be performed to assess for lung involvement. Collaborative care for good pasture syndrome usually involves plasma phoresis, as well as medications such as corticosteroids, immunosuppressants, nazathioprine. Dialysis may also be indicated depending on the extent of renal involvement. Plasmapheresis involves removal of the circulating antiglomular basement membrane, or GBM, antibodies, which is then replaced by substitute fluids such as saline, albumin, or fresh frozen plasma. Kidney transplants may be attempted once the anti-GBM antibodies decrease, though good pasture syndrome may recur after transplantation. Nursing management for good pasture syndrome includes monitoring for signs and symptoms indicating pulmonary and renal involvement, administering drug therapy as prescribed, and monitoring labs such as increased creatinine and BUN levels, as well as decreased hemoglobin level. Nursing management guidelines for acute kidney injury, which is the next video coming out next week, and acute respiratory distress may also be applicable to good pasture syndrome patients. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day.